I can show you a budget proposed by the president. Tell me, Congress, now will you make a budget resolution? Let's say authorization bills to set the maximum expenditures funded by an appropriation bill. So the magic budget bill. Says, President proposes the overall government spending, and if it's a surplus or deficit, we'll never know. The OMB provides guidelines and reviews the draft. Federal agencies revise, and the OMB complies with the final budget yield. Then the president submits a budget request to Congress, which talks about how much government will spend on entitlement programs, revenue deficit, and surplus. Though, then the CBO submits budget reports to House and Senate budget committees. Oh. They both review the request, then begin the budget resolution. If it passes, it goes to the 12 House and Senate Appropriations Subcommittees to have hearings and make markups. Committee members sometimes sleep in earmarks from Congress of Congress. Then both the House and Senate review and approve the budget. Then there is the final review, and the budget goes to the conference committee for reconciliation. Finally, the president signs the budget into law. This is raw. When Congress fails to meet its own budgetary timetable, it passes a continuing resolutions to keep the government able. Book barely helps Congress will get reelected because it attracts attention to constituents. We also use the term incrementalism to describe the spending and appropriations process. Efforts to check incrementalism have failed, but still have attempts to reduce programs whose costs are rising rapidly. Much of the federal budget has become uncontrollable due to uncontrollable expenditures. And this is how the budget process goes.